Hello YouTube, it's me, everyone's favorite cyborg, Gaiken. And me, everyone's favorite Kaiju Godzilla. Uh, back with another Ask G&G. &G. Yeah, I already ruined it for him. Alright. So, today we have lots of questions. Um, remember, if you want to submit a question to us, you can leave it in the comment section below. Or you can leave it on Twitter, where it will get priority. You're more likely to be picked if you leave it on Twitter. Remember, just because you leave a question does not mean it's going to end up in the show. We get lots of questions, lots of them are repeats and etc. Yeah, and also lots of them just straight up fucking suck. So, uh, let's jump into this, I guess. First question of the day. Dear Godzilla and Gigan, what do you think of Ruby? That is Ruby R-W-B-Y. Well, I first watched Ruby when I read like roses. Uh, okay. Uh, Montium's Ruby is very mirror, mirror. Who's the loneliest of all? Anyways, as an anime, I think that Ruby is... What? You're not going to interrupt me? No, no, go ahead. Well, as, as an anime, I think Ruby's had a long road, and it's finally, finally... I burn! Can't hold me down! We'll never stop, I burn! Are you done? Yeah. <laughs> I'm fucking done, I'm sorry. Uh... You don't want to do the black theme? No, I'm good. <laughs> I've, I've had my laugh. Okay, well, Ruby had a rough start, you know. Some bad animation. Cliché anime kind of story. Yeah, it was still fun to watch, and it was free, and it didn't take long. So, we watched it. B3 has them on Blu-ray. It was fun. Uh, and then Season 2 was better. Had better animation. Uh... Added some more fun characters. The characters are pretty good. Yeah, the characters are the best. Weiss is bae. No, Yang is bae. Weiss is bae. Yang is bae. Weiss is bae. Yang is bae. I burn. Can't hold me down. Shut up, shut up. God, fine. Ah. But yeah, then when season three hit, Ruby, that's when it really took off for me. Yeah. Uh, the story in season three was dope. It was like a kind of a tournament thing, and then it just went off the rails, and I loved it. Uh, and since then, Ruby has just been something we've definitely been keeping up with. Uh, is part six out yet? I haven't seen part six. I haven't seen part six either. Oh, okay. But, uh... Did it come out in October? I don't know, man. I don't. We don't have good enough internet to stream it anyways. We either have to wait for the Blu-ray or watch it somewhere else. Yeah, B3 watches it when he dog sits for a friend. Who also watches Ruby. Or he just watches it with that friend when they're in town. Yeah, so... We like Ruby. We like Ruby. Question a la dos. Oh my god. Is Jiras going to be in the G&G &G universe? And if so, will Godzilla date her? Hmm... I'm just going to let you handle this one. All right. Um, B3 says this every time he reviews a kaiju or Ultraman action figure or something. Uh, just because he buys that figure does not mean he's planning to put it in the G&G &G universe. All right. However, Jiras will probably have a background role in Season 2 of Ultra Kaiju Brothers just standing in the background and stuff. Because there are going to be lots of Ultra Monsters in the background of uh, that season. And it'll just be easy to have Jiras back there. Um, I feel like this question is coming from someone who's a big Monster Island Buddies fan. Who is just automatically assuming Jiras would be female and I would date her because that is what happened on Monster Island Buddies. Uh, simply because that happened on Monster Island Buddies means it's not going to fucking happen here. We go out of our way to do things differently than Monster Island Buddies. Do we like Monster Island Buddies? Yeah. But we aren't Monster Island Buddies. Please, please, for the love of God, stop fucking comparing us to Monster Island Buddies. Yeah, we aren't that good. Shut the fuck up! Okay? Anyways, that's my little rant. Jesus. Okay, next question. It reads, What do you think of the NECA Godzilla line? Well, the figures are fine, less durable than most NECA stuff, 
It looked like they were heading into the repaint area, but now that they say they have the license to make more monsters and more Godzillas, the line should pick up. It takes them forever to release a damn Godzilla. And they only release one at a time, uh, which I guess is, makes them easier to afford, but whatever. Uh, lots of the times some of the articulation on them doesn't really want to move, but they all seem to scale well together, and they scale well with your other 6-inch Godzilla figures. B3 has reviewed... Pretty much every NECA Godzilla that's been released in the 6-inch scale. So go check out those reviews on the Godzilla and Gigan channel. And our last question of the day is, Hedora, what makes you happy? Did someone call for me? Yeah, Hedora, our fans want to know what makes you happy. Oh, you know what makes me happy? Not being interrupted and asked to come to this damn set just to answer that one goddamn question. Why don't you fucking Skype me next time? Fine. Jeez. Okay, well, you know what makes me really happy is fucking slitting my wrists. Okay, uh, anything less weird? I like nice long days on the beach. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. No, you don't understand. I like nice long days on the beach because it dries me out. And every time I dry out, I get closest to death that I possibly can. But then, the ocean tide inevitably rises and re-moisturizes me, cursing me to this miserable existence. Uh... Okay. You can leave. Good. Kill yourselves. Kill yourself. I wish I could. Well, that's it for today. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Leave us plenty of questions on Twitter and on YouTube. Also, follow us on Patreon and hit that notification bell, motherfuckers, to get more content straight to your eyeballs, motherfucker. That's it. Thank you. So long. Thanks for all the fish. No, that's what I say. It's... Not your line. It's from Hitchhiker's Guide. Eh, fuck your ass. Moron.